What's good guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm about to call a client or potential client that wants social media marketing for their business. As you guys know, I really don't do social media marketing unless you're doing paid ads. But somebody that I know, another client of mine referenced me to them. So I don't wanna leave them hanging. So I'm just gonna give them a call and kind of just have a talk with them to find out now, what are they looking to do and what they're kind of doing? And I figured this would just give you guys some insight on just how to talk to clients, how to approach these calls, so. Hello? Yes? Hey, this is uh, Rodrigo. Oh, okay. How are you? Um, hi, hi, Rodrigo. How are you yeah, doing? Yeah, um, today, um, Patricia talked about you, like you can help us to do like social media. Uh huh. Like, um, what can you do for us? Well, what are you looking to do? Uh, I looking for like um, bring more customer to us. Okay. By social media. What are you currently doing to get customers? You, what kind of advertisement like, are you guys uh, doing? We, we do advertise on Google, uh -huh. and we uh, we try um, like Instagram. We make a lot uh, try to make people follow our Instagram and uh -huh. the Facebook. Yep. Yeah, that's all. And then we try to make like a good review on Google. Cool, cool. Uh, so what has been working for you the most? Uh, for us, like now Google and uh, Instagram. Yeah, Google but, like with the reviews and all of that? Yeah. Let me look it up. Let me see. So, anything else you can have us you know, to uh, bring more? Yeah, um, so I, I literally just got home and uh, Patricia's gave me a call to, to contact you guys. So um, I just kind of wanted to touch base with you real quick and just kind of find out more about what you're doing. But I see that you have 176 reviews, 4.9, that's great. You're running ads on, okay, you're running ads on Google, I see that. Uh, how's your website looking? Uh, okay, so a little update in there. Got it. Let's see, what are clients choosers? So on on Instagram and Facebook, are you doing like paid advertisement or are you just posting content? Um, we just uh, like post a picture and follow people. Gotcha. Okay, so no paid advertisement. Yeah, so me. Something that I would consider trying would be running Facebook and Instagram ads because uh, you have really great photos on here of your nails. Look at this video. Okay. Yeah, anything you can have us to, yeah, uh, yeah to make to uh, make more like people know uh, around, uh, uh, around us, like very close to us, know about us. Yeah. Some people they come here they say like they don't know we are here. Uh huh. So yeah. Oh, you're you're inside that the outlet as well. Yeah, we inside the outlet. Oh, that's awesome. That's a great location. So there's a lot of foot traffic there. Yeah. Um. But like we we want to uh, like uh, people know uh, you know and any traveler when they come here uh -huh. that they gonna find us right away. Yeah. So you have anything? This idea is good. Yeah, so uh, I'm just doing some research. Like I said, I didn't, uh, I literally just got home from a, a shoot and I'm just kind of doing my research uh, on the internet, seeing what you're doing. But I think, so Nori Nail Palm Beach. That's an old Facebook page. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me take a look here. Nuri. Uh, how much money are you spending on advertisement right now? Um, we spend on Google like a month, uh, three hundred. Three hundred a month? Okay, it's not bad. And no money on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, because we have problem with uh, like connect the Facebook with Instagram right now. Uh huh. So we try to figure it out to like uh, connect it, connect. Uh huh. And then after that, we can do advertise uh, on Facebook, and when we do advertising advertisement on Facebook, it can like. 
Excellent. No worry, Fort Myers. No but like right now, like some not 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 our uh, business Facebook connect to our Instagram. That's why we cannot do advertisement yet. Um. So I'm sorry, I, I I lost you there. So you said that you can't do advertisement on Instagram or Facebook because it's not connecting your page. Yes. Do you know what the problem is there, or? The guy who who created he forgot the password. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, I mean that should be an easy fix because you have a good amount of followers. You definitely need more uh Facebook engagement. Um. Yeah, we need more like that, like make more people like like our Facebook. Okay. Yeah. Because it definitely, for the most part, too. Yeah. So. Huh? Oh uh, yeah. How how are you getting? Um. How are you getting reviews on Google? Are you using a software? Or are you just asking people to leave your no, review? Uh, and uh -huh. they're happy and then we can ask them to do it because cool. we use software before and it not work at all gotcha because when the client they leave the job they have no time to do it so yeah usually we just request the client do why they at the shop uh-huh so it's worked very well yeah no it's like you said you have a lot of good reviews so that that's like yeah. half of the battle for a lot of uh, our clients that we work with uh are we applying to these yeah the thing the thing i want to like I want to make more people know about us, know more about our Facebook page mm -hmm. and Instagram, and uh, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, but the review. Yeah, I mean, I think you could definitely do some. Uh some Facebook ads and Instagram ads, but we have to get your page connected. I think that'll be yeah. the best strategy for people, and then uh -huh. maybe do you know, uh, a short video, kind of like a promo to show people uh, the place. Um, yeah, I mean, that'll be my best idea for you, but we definitely need to get the, uh, your Facebook and Instagram connected first to do the ads, because if not, you know, everything else is not gonna work. Yeah. Um, so realistically, do you have a budget that you wanna spend on doing something like this? Yeah, I do. I, so I would like to know the price and if I can afford it or not. Okay. I mean, normally for me to... So normally when we run ads for clients, our minimum ads that we charge a month is $500 a month. How much? $500 a month to run the ads for you. $500 Correct. a month? Yeah. And then uh, what happened if it not work? Well, I mean, so what we could do for you, I mean, our ads work pretty well for the, the clients that we've had. I can give you a discount on the first month and I'll charge you 300 for the first month to see if it will work. And then after that, if you think it's worth it, then I'll just bring you back to our, our regular price uh, because Patrice recommended me, but we have- so every month, every month, like 500, every month, and even though the work is the same, Correct. So what you what you see you do every month? Like you just we'll we'll run and manage your ads for you. So like I don't need to pay for Google at all. If you don't want to, it's one. But like if I was you, the biggest so like other things I'd want to look at is your analytics and are you asking your customers how are they finding you? Yeah, usually when they come in, some clients they said, oh, because we follow the, um, their Instagram and um, they know us about that way. Mm -hmm. We follow the client and okay. then the client see. And then some people come, like, they said, like, they buy by Google. Okay. Yeah, so, so do you... most of the time, like, Google and Instagram is work very good. Um, do, you have, do you have access to your website? Like, the, can you look in your website at the analytics to see where the traffic is coming from? Uh, Who built your website, website for you? You mean like the people like uh, check our website? Yeah, so you, normally when you have your website built, there's like analytics that show you where the traffic is coming from. 
and that will normally give you a good idea of where where you should put your money right because if you are getting if you look at your analytics and your analytics is telling you that there's more people coming from google then you should probably be spending more money on google but the fact that you haven't run any facebook ads yet is definitely something that's worth trying to do okay so let me uh, ask the guy who run the website uh-huh. so he, he can check for us right yep yeah. okay yeah i could let you try but i so you need to see you know and then if 500 is work or not yeah because i sometimes we pay the same work every month and every month i you know don't do anything mm -hmm. but we still pay the same yep so like uh if i do it and then after that um do I need to sign a contract or something? No, no contracts. We're very, we're, we try to make it very easy for you to work with us. Yeah. And we'll, we'll give you an agreement saying that like, hey, we are going to work together and that, you know, we, this is what we're going to do for you and you agree to pay that price, but there's no like, you know, commitment or anything like that. But normally, you know, we do tell people for the maximum amount of results, you know, for a lot of these things, it does normally take three months, but because of your business itself being a nail salon, it's something that we could generate traffic for very easily. Yeah, and then you have us to make a picture, a photo, a video, or something like that too? So we could do a video for you as well, but that's a separate charge that we you know. Oh, separate charge, not include. Correct. If you wanted me to do something for you, um, I could do some, so for the first month and for me to make like a 30 second video for you to, uh, use as Facebook ads, I could do something for like 750 bucks. Oh, that's, that's a lot. I know, but I have to come out, I have to shoot a video and I have to edit the video. So. Yeah, that's made a lot. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. So there you go, guys. Hopefully you found that it was helpful. You know, if a client's selling you $750 for me to come out, shoot a video for them, which is super cheap. I'm pretty much giving her a video for $500. And then, um, you know, set up ads for her for $250. And she's saying that's a lot. You know, it's not the kind of clients you want to work with. And at one point, as you guys could probably see through the video that I was kind of like already out of it, it's like I already knew that this was not going to be a good client for me to work with. But this is one of those things that I tell you guys about is that, you know, her doing nails, she's charging like what? I mean, I don't know how much nails cost. Let me see if there's prices here. But, you know, let's say she's charging nails and they're like 50 bucks or $30. I don't know how, many, how much nails are. But, you know, she needs to do a lot of... So classic pedicure is 25 bucks. Signature pedicure is $35. She has to do a lot of nails for her to see the return in that investment. And this is one of those things I try to tell you guys about is that, you know, when you're working with clients that, you know, have they need it that they make their money on volume. The same thing goes for like t-shirts. Like, you know, I do work with the coffee company, but it's different. I'm on the marketing side of things, creating videos for them and running ads, oh, it's a totally different business, but there's volume at scale with that because it's a product. But for a lot of businesses like this, barbershops, coffee shops, restaurants, the volume just isn't there for them to see the return on the investment. So when you're trying to make the sale, it's a lot harder because for her to justify $750, which is not a lot of money for a business owner. Like if you're talking to a business owner and he doesn't have $1,000 to invest into his business, you're talking to the wrong person. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, leave me a comment. That's it, 900 subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. This year has been flying by like crazy. Seeing this channel grow has been amazing. All the people that have been hitting me up, reaching out on Facebook and Instagram, I mean, Facebook, fuck, YouTube and Instagram. I appreciate you guys and then I'll see you next time. Peace.